good afternoon, I guess. We we're actually sitting here eating our lunch um, and I decided to pick up the vlog camera today. It is a cold, windy, blustery day in Lancaster County here. And we've already been to the gym. Well, not the gym, but um, we go to a church workout group where like we all work out. It's really actually a cool setup. The ladies like work out in the basement and then the kids can run around and the, there's a nice little nursery there and they can occupy themselves. I love to go, Ivani loves to go. They're sitting over here eating their soup too. Say hi. Hi. There's Fletcher, he's eating his soup too. And yes, it's a cold day and he's wearing no socks. He pulled them off, so I'll have to put them back on him. Meat. Meat in your soup, yeah. Um, so we're just eating Italian wedding soup here. I'm so ravenously hungry because of the workout this morning. I didn't really eat much. Which, all of you that do like intermittent fasting, do you actually work out on an empty stomach? Like I feel like I would faint or something. I don't know, but they say that's a really good way to stay fit and in shape and stuff is to work out while you're fasted. So anyway, so I love if my vlogs can have kind of a theme, if that's a possibility. And so I think the theme for this one is just going to be like changes that we made in the new year. Well, first off, I was sick for the first two whole weeks of 2020. And so I really got no goals done or anything like that. I was just trying to survive. The house was a wreck. My mom was over helping. It was just crazy. But actually, it didn't bother me too bad because I kind of restart like a new year on the first of every month. Like, I don't know, I like to have short monthly goals kind of thing. So it doesn't bother me that bad. I'll just get back on the horse now. Anyway, I've just been feeling so inspired lately. And so I'm hoping if you are in a slump like I was a week or two ago, um, maybe I can help inspire you and pick you up too. I'm just gonna share with you some of the changes that I made for 2020 or the things that I'm trying to implement. So if you're new to my channel, my name is Megan Fox. I make all kinds of videos that have to do with mom life. So subscribe if you think you'd enjoy that. I am, what did you say? Eat, food. eat my food. Oh, I'm talking to the camera quick and then I'm gonna eat it. Okay, I'm almost done. Is that okay? <laughs> Definitely subscribe. And yeah, come along on my weekend. So the kids are still finishing their lunch, but I wanted to show you my house, or my kitchen especially, but um, there are some changes about to happen to this kitchen, but I did just wanna show you, I have started to just keep my house picked up and tidied up, which sounds ridiculous, I know. But normally the kids just have toys out in every room and I just cannot keep on top of things. The basement's awful and they love to play out here in the sun porch. And also there's a toy room over here too that always just has like all the toys out. And believe it or not, this is very picked up for our lives. Most of the toys are over here in these bins um, and they don't have 50 million of them out. <laughs> This is actually a new piece right here. I got it from one of the ladies from my mops group or whatever. Um, there is doors that need to go on yet, but Josh needs to fix them. And then they'll go right on there. Oh, they'll be so cute. Anyway, Ivani is loving washing her doll clothes in there. <laughs> I know it sounds so obvious and simple, just like Megan, duh, pick up. But I think I just never got on top of things ever. And so I was always just cleaning up all the time. And then last week I just like cleaned everything up, put everything back, organized stuff, you know, quickly. And it is like honestly life changing. I feel like a better mom. I feel better, like I feel a much better housekeeper and like it's so much easier to keep on top of stuff. We just clean up in the evening before we go to bed. And when we come downstairs again, everything is tidied up. I know that's like, probably all of you do that, but. I was honestly thinking family time is more important. I'll just clean up in the morning, but I didn't realize how much like waking up to a messy house just weighed on me. Um, and so I know you're probably laughing like, haha, Megan, you've been doing this for like a week and a half. But honestly, I hope to keep it up and I'm telling you guys about it so that you guys can help me to be accountable. Ask me about it. You know, are you still tidying up and stuff? Because I really do want to keep it up. Having a tidy house almost all the time is Awesome. I always did that at my little house. It's just with this big house, I feel like we just spread out and made a mess everywhere. So yeah, that's definitely a life change I am really happy to see. Also, I'm really getting sick of like clutter and stuff and my kitchen looks pretty bare. Like I said, we are planning to do some renovations in the kitchen here, just some cosmetic changes. But um, my countertop is organized for the most part, but it's just cluttery. Like I have a tray here, but it's just not organized and people can see everything. I keep bottles here which are great to grab but it just looks junky um yeah and over here i don't think all these appliances need to be out as well as all this i'm gonna put away in the pantry so i'm just gonna go clean up lunch and then i think i'm gonna get started on this and i'll take you guys along with me Ooh, is ivani playing us a pretty song are you gonna play us a pretty song Good 
job. Oh, and we stopped at Dollar Tree on the way home from the workout, and I'll have to show this to you a little bit later. Me and Ivani are gonna do an activity with it. Um, it's just another thing that we're doing in 2020. Okay, I'm gonna get started decluttering my kitchen countertops. And while I do that, I'm gonna be listening to my Hoopla app. I'm listening to a book right now called Madame Chic. It's giving me a lot of food for thought. It's a lifestyle book, which I'm all about. It kind of covers the overarching themes of the lifestyle of people in France. Case in point, one day as I was walking to lunch with my... the counters cleared off except for this corner over here um, a lot of these appliances I just need out I mean we use them so often and at the end of the day it's about you know easy living right so I think I'm gonna leave the knife block and the toaster and the coffee pot out but we grind coffee like once a month so I think I'm gonna grind a bunch of coffee quick and then put the coffee grinder down here in my lazy Susan where I keep my appliances um, this is a really nice way to access heavy stuff. And I think I'm gonna leave the cups here. They're nice to grab and they are, I don't know, they add a little color, I think. Oh, yeah. I find my baby. Oh, did she wake up from her nap? Very contrived look. That's nice. Yeah. this corner situation over here and I was thinking um, instead of a knife block how would it be to just do like one of the metal magnetic strips like they sell Ikea comment down below if you have one if you like it if you've had a knife block and a strip which you like better cuz I'm seriously thinking about it okay I really want to have easy access to the bibs and the bottles and stuff and some of this junk drawer tray stuff I do want to have access to so I think I'm just gonna pare this down a lot but keep it on the counter and then the baby stuff, I think I'm going to take out these rarely used um, baking dishes and stuff, put them over towards the oven, and put the bottles and the bibs up here. <laughs> the kids are having fun playing. <laughs> I used to have back here is just awful. I'm gonna get a tiny little crock, I think, and put like a few key things in, like a spatula and a wooden spoon and stuff, and everything else has got to go.
Okay, it's still not my bright white kitchen or anything, but I'm super grateful for it and it definitely looks a lot cleaner and just more minimal and decluttered. Anyway, that'll do for now. I'm sure I will move everything around a hundred more times. Are you showing everybody what you got? Yeah. So it is about half an hour till nap time and so we're gonna put together a little birthday yeah. present kits to go in the mail whenever her friends have birthdays in 2020. Um, I'm really excited about it, I think she is too. And it's just gonna be something we can throw in the mail and away they go. And little kids love to get mail. Imani loves when you guys send her stuff. Um, all kids are that way. So we will see if we do this every year. It's just a one-time thing, I don't know. Are you excited? Yeah. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Oh. Make birthday presents. Okay. This is, who are you gonna give your birthday presents to? Ah. Which friends are having birthdays? My birthday. My birthday. Not your friend's birthday. Yeah, not your birthday. So we're gonna do balloons, no, I need, I need. erasers, and then we're gonna do cards, but instead of cards, it is Valentine's season, so I got these little skateboard cards. Ivani can't write anyway, so I thought this would be perfect. We got googly-eyed stickers here to decorate the envelopes. Pixie sticks, because they're flat and very lightweight. And then we'll do a sticker sheet in each one. I almost forgot, I got myself a little spatula. These things are so nice for cleaning out like tin cans and stuff, and I only have one and I'm always looking for it. Oh, and I always pick one of these up at Dollar Tree. They're the giant Smarties. I personally hate Smarties, but Josh loves them, so it'll be a surprise for him. <laughs> Okay, so there they all are, and I just have to put them all in the envelopes and address them. I'm trying to decide if I really want to address them, address them now because they're going to be getting handed out for the next 12 months, and chances are somebody's going to be moving in that time. So I think I'll just put everything in and write their names and our return addresses on, and then I can address them later. Okay, now I just need to organize them by date, and I think we're done. Ivani, you ready for a nap? No. No. Yeah, I think you're getting sleepy. I don't want to read a book. You want to read a book? Yeah. So nap time is almost over. I was editing and doing voiceovers for a cooking video the whole time. And we are getting ready to go to my grandma's house. She lives in another county, Berks County, about 45 minutes away. So we're gonna go there this evening. But the kids are gonna need a little something to eat because we're only doing like a little snack at grandma's house. So I have some mixed vegetables cooking here. I don't touch mixed vegetables with a 10 foot pole. Ew, I hate them, but my kids love them. Anyway, and I'm also gonna be making some couscous to go with it. This is the roasted garlic and olive oil version. And I get this at Aldi, it's really good, and the kids love it. It's kind of messy, but like they both can eat it, and I enjoy it, they enjoy it. My mom would not call this a meal because there's no meat, but hey, it works. We're gonna have a fruit tray and some stuff later on at my grandma's house, so that'll be fine. Also, I did get this pork shoulder roast out because our meal for this weekend, when I say meal, whatever, our next meal that I'm cooking is going to be pork and sauerkraut and mashed potatoes. I'm thinking we'll probably have that for Sunday lunch. So anyway, I'm gonna get this couscous going, go up and wake the kids up, and then get my fruit and dip together while they're eating their supper so we can head off to my grandma. I find like I am such a blend of my two grandmas. This grandma is like a whippersnapper and likes to get stuff done and she's like creative, likes to do quilting and things. I don't know, I definitely get a lot of different traits from her. Sometimes when she does stuff or says stuff, I'll just be like, oh my, that's exactly how I'll be when I'm 80. <laughs> she is going strong yet, her health is amazing, so I hope I can keep that going too. Josh is making waffles. And I didn't get the kids dressed yet because they're gonna be eating breakfast. And then we're gonna take a photo shoot for a magazine article that I'm writing. Wow. There's nothing like a snow day when you don't actually have to go anywhere. Morning, Fletcher. Morning. Say hi. We're not 
gonna get dressed yet because we're gonna eat some breakfast. Then I'll put your little jumper on, okay? Yes, because we're gonna take some pictures. Don't eat that snow. You only eat snow if it's really, really deep. Do you guys let your kids eat snow? I don't encourage it, but. <laughs> oh, you're not, it's not a childhood without eating some snow. Ivani, just don't eat that stuff, okay? That is fruit punch. Okay, it's like 20% fruit punch and 80% water, but she don't need to know that. <laughs> I have not eaten at Arby's in probably two years, three years, I don't know. Anyway, it's not the greatest, healthiest option. Meat is good for you. Meat is good for you, he says. Um, and the last time I was here, I think I got their Reuben, but I figured we're having sauerkraut on the menu this week at home, so I'll just stick with the beef and cheddar. I got it. Ooh, oh, push it down, push it down the whole way. Doesn't the straw go down any further? There, don't spill it. Well, he's gonna help himself. <laughs> Fletcher. Fletcher, you are you getting your first pair of shoes? What do you think? <laughs> We're at Walmart here, and they are 587. Oh, he's nine months and this is his first pair of shoes. That's pretty sad. But they're just pointless and for decoration otherwise, right? Hey, okay, off to go grocery shopping. We gotta go home and paint. Where's Vani, Vani, Vani at? Vani. Hi. Oh, so are we nuts or what? <laughs> oh, Walmart was pretty busy actually for how awful the weather is. Oh my goodness, it's sleeting now. It snowed and then it didn't do anything for like two hours and now it's just like sleeting away. Oh man. Bedtime pretty much. This should be the perfect yeah. afternoon to go home and do nothing. But instead, he's gonna paint and I'm gonna edit. Okay, you guys are up on the top of the fridge. I am gonna be putting away groceries and Josh is gonna start painting here in the kitchen. And we just wanted to get rid of this like skin color wall, um, make it just nice and fresh and white. And then we'll just kind of make decisions from there, like what else we wanna do. Um, I am eating these. I accidentally bought the wrong thing at Walmart. I meant to get dried mangoes. I got dried pineapples. That's what happens when you go shopping with your husband. It's so distracting. <laughs> it was fun though. Anyway, they are actually really good. I still prefer dried mangoes, but dried pineapples are pretty good too. real life this is my closet floor at the moment I'm trying to like get some things done here and it's like if you give a mouse a cookie situation anyway I am thinking about kind of like a little capsule wardrobe for spring I know maybe some of you don't know what that means but a capsule wardrobe is just like a really small amount of clothes some people do like 10 pieces I would probably do more like 30 um, but then like everything goes together and everything is like kind of co similar colors everything coordinates and then I guess the idea is to cut down on time it also goes back to the idea that if it's not your favorite, why do you even have it? Like you always go back to your favorite clothes anyway. So for me, I feel like I always wear either like a dress or a skirt, a shirt, and a cardigan. Um, yeah, I just have some very simple outfits that I keep doing again and again and again. So 
I'm like, let's just get rid of the rest of the stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you'll see a video on that in the future. Um, I'm thinking more towards springtime. But let me just show you what I have in my closet right now for reference. And I did sell a bunch of stuff on Poshmark, but here's my sweaters, here's my skirts, and then here's my dresses. And these dresses here, I don't... Where's Bonnie? Are you hiding down there? And a few of these dresses are like sentimental. Like this one here, I don't really wear much anymore, but it was what I wore on our first date. It's actually a dress from seventh grade. And when Josh asked me out, I just grabbed the first most comfortable thing I could find that I, yeah, I don't know. I always like this color on me, I guess. And yeah, it's like from seventh grade, but it was also my first date dress. And this dress is so pretty. I wore this for both maternity shoots for both kids. It's not really something I wear all the time or anything, but I do want to keep it. Bunny! What are you doing? You guys are making a mess. You jumping? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I'm up here tidying up and they are just in here having a, I don't know what they're doing. They have some imagination. I hear them giggling and playing and this is such a fun age. Oh my goodness. I love having them 18 months apart. Ivani, what did I tell you that we're going to do if we get all of our work done? It's ready. There she is. What are we going to do if we get all of our work done? Huh. What did mommy tell you we're going to do? Eat cookies. Make cookies? And eat cookies. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's get our priorities straight here. Okay, I like to make, I kind of go on a kick. I like one, make one kind of chocolate chip cookies for like a year. And then I'll find another recipe that I'm like all gung-ho over. Right now I've been on Joanna Gaines Magnolia Table chocolate chip cookies. Um, they're really good, but I will say do not make the dough ahead of time and then put it in the fridge. It is very best when you mix the dough up and then boom, bake them right away. Um, they're really good. Before this, I was into a recipe that took vanilla pudding mix and that was really good too. So yeah, I mean, it's fun to change it up. I know King Arthur's flour has a really good recipe too. Um, and yeah, it's just fun to have variety. So we are gonna be making Joanna Gaines's recipe and I think I can link it below. Um, it's online, I found it online, just printed it out. And I think she might have it in her cookbook too. 350 degrees. I need knife. No, the butter's gonna go in here. You don't need a knife. The butter goes in the mixing bowl. You keep opening it. You have to open it up on this end too. Turn it around and get the other end. I got it. Good job. Okay, let's put it in the microwave a little bit, a little bit soft. Go. Saturday. <laughs> I think the cookies are done. Is that cookie dough on the lens? Oh my goodness. Anyway, I am spending my Saturday with you guys instead of being out in town. <laughs> That's what you were usually doing. But anyway, I think like a slow Saturday night was just what we needed. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day again. And so, yeah, I just really enjoyed this evening. I do fully believe that God works in seasons in our lives. And this is kind of gonna be a new season here for me. My 
baby is nine months old. And when my Ivani, my oldest, was nine months old, I was pregnant with the next baby already. And so that's not going to be happening this time. Um, I mean, unless the Lord knows something that I don't know. But I think it's going to be a while till we have a third baby. Or maybe, I mean, I hope we still, I hope we can have more children. Um, yeah, I mean, just not right now. Anyway, and so I feel like, you guys know what I'm saying. So I feel like the next year is going to be kind of a new season for me. I'm going to have two babies, but they're going to be more like toddlers. And I think it's going to be so fun, the stage that they're going to be in. Um, I look forward to it. If you ever wonder if you should have kids 18 months apart, I loved it. I loved it so much. I can't imagine them being closer than that, but it was so nice. I, it's so fun. And I feel like I'm only now reaping like the awesome benefits of it. And I know they're going to be great friends. So if you're looking for advice for me, I would say go for it. It's wonderful. Anyway, maybe somebody needed to hear that. I don't know. <laughs> but I can't imagine having three, three and under, but there's people that do it all the time. And I know I could do it too, but my husband and I think that maybe now is not the time for a third baby, but yeah, we'll see. Anyway, all that to say, I feel like this is a whole new season of life coming up and what does God want me to do with it and to do with my time? Um, I'm very busy, but I want to be smart with my time and I feel like that's something that I want to work on in 2020 coming up. I just want to live life with intention and with my priorities in order, if that makes sense. And so that's, I'm not going to get it perfect, I know that, but it is a learning process and I want to learn it younger rather than older. That way I have a whole life to implement, you know, the things that I've learned when I was young. So. Yeah, I just love a new year. I'm ready to tear into it and get going and just to streamline the processes that go on with running a house. And you know, I've come really far. Like I now do meal planning and budgeting and like I have all kinds of systems that I didn't really have two years ago. And I blame YouTube for a lot of that because just seeing how other people live their lives has given me so much food for thought and how you know, I could try something different. It's just awesome how YouTube has opened up to a big world. So I just really love that and I want to get back to you guys. I hope this video gave you some food for thought too um, of what you are doing that you love or maybe something that you'd like to try. Yeah, I'm just really excited for 2020 and what my channel can bring and I just thank you guys for being along for the ride. Along with that, share this video if you can or think of anybody that would enjoy it. Um, what you do is just hit the share button right down below in the middle underneath this video and that's really how a channel can grow um, when you think of somebody that might be inspired by what you're watching and you copy the link and send it to them I usually just do it via text. That's how we grow our community. So don't be afraid to share people's videos if you think of someone or if somebody pops into your head while you're watching one. So all that being said, I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you all in my next video. Subscribe and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and I'll see you soon.